great day to be working outside, right? Sure is. We're actually going to work outside building a picnic table. Now, we could spend a lot of money on some expensive materials like cedar or teak, but that's not what we're up to. No, this is actually basic framing material. This is KD or kiln dried material. Okay, so we're going to use this for the top. Top and the seat. Yeah. And for the legs, that'll be the only part that touches the ground, so we're going to build that out of pressure treated. Great. What's the first step? Well, let's lay out the top and we can work our way down. Now, the top of the table we're going to make out of these 2x8s. We're going to put the best side of the 2x8s facing down and the worst side facing up. So now we're actually working on the underside of the table. Okay. I want to space them with these 16 penny nails to allow for expansion and contraction. Got it. And so right. we've got them uh, how wide? Well, we should end up with a top that's about 37 inches wide yep. by 96 inches long. We won't cut the length. Gotcha. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to place three 2 by 4s underneath this table to hold the top together. Okay. And what are you thinking for length on those? Well, I'm thinking about 32 inches. Okay. We're going to center the first 2 by 4 cleat in the center of the table. We're using a waterproof polyurethane construction adhesive. I cut both ends with a cleat on a 45 degree angle. That way, if you bump it with your knee, you won't get hurt. I'm staggering the screws on the 2x4 so we don't split it, but I'm also keeping the screws about an inch to an inch and a quarter from the edge of the 2x8s. Trying to bite as much of those 2x8s as you can. I'm going to put the two outside cleats about 16 inches in from the end. All right, Kevin, I've got these legs on this side of the table just about set. Let me show you what I have here. If you look, it's actually a basic A-frame. Mm -hmm. The A-frame gives the table a lot of stability. It gives it a wide stance on the bottom so it won't go back and forth. You don't want to be sitting on one of these benches and have the whole table flip up on you. Exactly. Now, this center part actually holds the legs together so they won't spread apart. But it also gives us a place right here to mount our two by sixes on each side to make up our bench. The leg angle right here is actually cut at 28 degrees. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Now it's a parallel cut, so I have to cut the other end at 28 degrees. Gotcha. Okay, now what about the tabletop height? Well, the tabletop height, I like 30 inches. All right, so 30 inches would be straight down gotcha. to the top of the table. But because the leg is set on a diagonal, that means that the leg has to be cut at 32 and a quarter. Gotcha. Okay, now what about the seating bench? Um, the seating bench, good height for that is 16 inches to 17 inches off the floor. So if I measure down right here, I have 15 and a half plus the thickness of the seat, it's going to give me 17 inches. All right, so we should start fabricating the other side. I set my square at 28 degrees. My mark. I'm going to cut it on the saw. Now I'm going to screw the leg into the cleat using a 4 inch deck screw. Now to stiffen up the legs on the table so that it won't rack and collapse, we have to install a couple of diagonal braces. And it's going to run from this cross brace right here down to the center cleat. So the first thing we want to do is hold the legs square with the underside of the table. All right, you got it there, Kevin? Okay. Next thing I want to do is take my square, hold it tight to the table and it tight to the cleat, and mark my brace. Then I take my square against the cross brace and mark my square here. That's the angle and the length for my brace. To get that angle, I'm going to hold my square 
against the edge of the 2x4, line up the line, and read that I have 30 degrees. I'll set my saw at 30 degrees. All right, let's see how that fits, Tommy. All right, I'm gonna hold it into position. You hold the square there. Keep coming. I'm gonna hold it down there. How's that? Bang, spot on. Okay, now we'll screw it in place. Okay, now we'll do the other side. To reinforce the connection between the leg and the cross brace, I'm actually drilling two holes to accept two carriage bolts that are galvanized and 3 8 in dimension. Okay, now to ensure that the nut doesn't ever back off, I'm just going to peen over the end. Our seat benches are made of two 2x6s with three cleats underneath them. We'll glue them and screw them. With some adhesive on the cross brace, we're ready to set our seat on. Now we'll screw through the seat into the cross brace. Look at the room on this table. We got enough room to get all the guys. Maybe we should get them. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Chicken? <laughs> sure, why not? Mm -hmm.